Avon Rowing Club from New Zealand in the red and white on the right of our picture. So Bath and Avon, but not that one. Okay, it looks like a great start point from both. It looks like the Minerva Bath were maybe rating slightly higher. It looks like maybe they wanted to try and jump out quickly. So it'd be interesting to see how that went. Well, actually, it's the red and white of Avon Rowing Club in New Zealand that have taken off explosively, haven't they? Look at this. That is a, cr a really incredible lead after 20 or 30 strokes. Yeah, just looking at the stroke man of the, of the Avon crew, his legs are going down with some real power there. They've gone off with some intent, haven't they? Absolutely. So that's Fred Vavasour, 20 years of age, sitting in the stroke seat of the Avon New Zealand crew. And they've already broken to clear water over the Minerva Bath Rowing Club uh, crew. And an interesting point about the crew from Avon, they're being coached by Olympic gold medalist from Great Britain, Will Satch, who spent a couple of years out in New Zealand coaching, um, coaching at Christ College and, and now in, with his Avon crew. Absolutely, he's been busy as well today, hasn't he? Will was busy with me, so he's been, this is his second trip down the course. So, well, um, and now we can see, looking back, you can see Temple Island, that beautiful landmark sitting, that's where the start happens, just alongside that um, on the Henley course, that's a key marker for us. And now we're looking at the uh, red and white of Avon Rowing Club of New Zealand. Um, nice long rowing from them. So can you see something of Will Satch's style in here, Pete? Uh, Jack, sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, one thing Will is, is an absolute grafter, and they look like they're putting some serious watts down under, under the water. And, and they're not letting up. You can see the way that they're sort of starting the recovery phase of the stroke. They're still rating high and still, still working hard. Yeah, battling hard, as you'd expect, from uh, Will Satch and uh, his crew rising to the example that he sets. And well, this is a super strong uh, lead for them. Very, very difficult now for Minerva Bath. They've actually got a bunch of Henley experience uh, between them um, and uh, they have a lot of work to do as we come through to the middle of the course, the halfway mark here at Fallen. Yeah, it must be a very, very difficult position to be in here for Benova Bath, but you know, different people come here with different targets as well. That's for some people to compete at the regatta is the pinnacle of their, their rowing they want to do. Some people are here to try and win, win and take the trophies home and for everyone, it's a fantastic place to be. Absolutely, so uh, beautiful colours on the water here and you can really see the sort of the pattern of puddles being put down by this crew. It's uh, what we call sort of chaining along almost a continuous series of marks in the water showing where the watts have been left on the Henley track by um, this Avon crew and liking the way that they're rowing. As you say, it's aggressive, but it's also got a degree of fluidness to it, hasn't it? So the boat's running nicely. Yeah, it looks very fluid. It looks like if you, if you were to sort of take everyone's heads off, they are doing exactly the same thing. These eight people, these eight men are really, really synchronised. So they've definitely been drilled well in their training. Well, let's let them keep their heads today, if you don't mind. Um, they might metaphorically take scouts, but um, you also need, you know, there's, a, there's quite a mental game with rowing, as you mentioned, that isn't there as well. So there's a technical game individually, collectively, but the mental game's there as well, making sure you're responding together as a crew, psychologically, how you're approaching the race and how you're prepared for a race like this. Yeah, and one thing at Henley is that you are racing against crews that you know nothing about. Now it's so international that, like we've all been saying, it's well, a record international entry. A lot of these international crews, you only find out how good they are by racing them. We don't know anything. So we're looking at Minerva Bath and in the bow seat, Matthew Hunter, two, Jonathan Nagel, three, Ryoma Sugawara, at four, Joe Mummery, five, Chris Petit, at six, Marcus Shaw, Gregory Harden in the seven seat and stroke James Crawshaw. And they vary between 22 and 35 years old, cocks by Zalifa Kelly. So a bunch of experience on the Henley track across that um, Minerva Bath Rowing Club crew, but it's not enough for the well-trained Avon Rowing Club crew from New Zealand. Will Satch, this is his home stretch too, just like you, Jack, will have given them everything they need to know about the Henley course. They'll have watched probably countless videos to know exactly where they are, and they've they read a really nicely controlled race. Yeah, they, you know, they are brilliant in control. But what I like about that Minerva Bath crew right now is that whilst it's hard and they, you know, the, it doesn't look like they're in a position that their dream of being in, they have not given up. They have not given up. They're absolutely going for it. You know what else I love? I really love their bright kit, which is brightening up a pretty grey day here in Henley. Absolutely. We love the colours of Henley. And if you come to the regatta and if you watch our coverage, you can see so many colours on the banks. And one of the great things about racing here is that the bonds it forges within clubs and across clubs and through the ages. And uh, that's one of the things that I love about the regatta. And, you know, in that Minerva crew, as I say, we've got athletes ranging from uh, their early 20s, 20 year old Jonathan Nagel at two and then 35 year James 
Crawshaw and Stroke, so um, across the ages coming together um, to combine in these crews. And it's definitely a sport where we really try to learn fast as well, isn't it? One of the things I'm interested in when I talk to people from other sports is how much, very quickly in rowing, we go, this went well, this didn't went go well, how do we change that? It's one of the great things I think we learn when we come out into the real world, how we can apply that. Yeah. But Definitely always sort of briefing before sessions, debriefing after them. Debriefing when you win, which is an interesting thing. You know, it's never we won, it's we won, how can we win better? So here we go uh, over to the finish line for the New Zealand crew, halfway around the planet to be here, and they'll be very happy they made the journey today. And as you say, Minerva Bath, you know, uh, you win or you learn, and what an experience for them to be up against such a fast crew at Henley Regatta. Loads of experience in that boat and plenty more today as we see a nice relaxed finish and that kind of friendship and crew coming together really important in driving the boats here and here the beautiful yellow color of Minerva Bath coming past the stewards enclosure and, and that's it and, and now hopefully Minerva Bath would have had a great race enjoy the rest of the regatta and also if it were me I'd be rooting now for for Avon Rowing Club to say I lost to the winners so it's Avon Rowing Club uh, beating Minerva Bath Avon and Bath go together but from halfway around the world from each other great performance from the New Zealanders